So, the axle's in. Let's do a side door job. As you can see, it's now sticking up. Almost at the right angle. I think it's, it's tipping slightly forward because I kind of guessed the vertical. And like again, you have to excuse the music. <coughs> it's not to your taste. Come on, you. Yeah. Right. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, obviously still working. <laughs> you can see it's. Uh, you can see how it's going to work, can't you? Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know what the ratio is, so I'll have to work that out. But that's not today's task. So we stick a motor on that, and it is your ankle. Right. Then. That took a bit. What it was, right, is these things here. Um, let's have this one. So, uh, those geezers there, the actual mounting points, right, I've had to block them up. You can see there's an extra little block in there, I don't know if you're following it. And I've had to saw down the box that surrounds the actual uh, uh, leaves, the leaf springs, because it was basically stopping it from clamping it. Yeah, so you can see my nice shiny white, shiny piece that I cut off. It's actually one of the counterbalance weights. Yeah. Yes, it is. And I've cut down the box. You can see there's a gap there. That's deliberate because I want it to clamp it hard. I don't want it to slide around, and it didn't. I did the uh, test, which is basically where I drop it down a little curb, which you probably can't see now. But basically, it used to that's it there. So this guy here, that's a curb. And as it dropped off the kerb, it made it slide because of the weight. And I just did it and it didn't. So, uh, I think we're okay. Also, this is a nut in the middle. That's a 24mm nut. And I put my torque wrench on it. And I set it. Uh, I was trying to get it so that it's set so I can get the torque properly. And I found out that I can turn that, right, up that, manually. Basically, I put the torque wrench on there. Like this, I'll show you. It's not got the right nut. You know, I don't like that. So basically, I put the torque wrench on like that, and then turned it, and I was using the torque wrench to measure how much torque it needs to just get it to mount up that small step. I mean, it's, you can't see it, but it's about a 45 degree, degree angle, and I would say, I don't know, maybe seven centimeters height. So it's like a low curb. Right, took 100 newton meters on that. So, so long as it can, so long as the motor can produce 100 newton meters, <laughs> then it means that it'll go up that curb. And I know that that milk float motor will probably produce a thousand, so it'll be fine. Yes, it'll be interesting. Anyway, so the motor is going that way up onto there. Oops, it's going this way onto there. Okay. And then uh, we put batteries, I don't know, somewhere like there. We'll have to make up something to do this. And uh, and this piece of metal here, that nice shiny piece of metal, that is either iron or steel, right? Which is the thing my circular saw just cut through like butter. That circular saw's a beast. I tested it with a magnet. Right then, I'm off. Night-night.